Welcome to Cat Type M Gaming. It's Cat streaming the game Hogwarts Legacy to live out the dream of becoming a wizard at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Also, to explore the immersive world of Harry Potter. All right, what am I doing today? All right, this is part 16 where I'm going to do the fire and vice quest and also some of the other um, uh, school assignments to get some of the spells that I've been um, needing when I've been running around. It's like, darn, I don't have that spell. So let us apparate into the world. Yeah, those spells have been quite... I've needed those spells when trying to do Merlin um, quests or the Merlin... Uh, what's it that thing that I need for the Mallow Suite? I forget exactly what it's called, but hey. Alright, nothing uh, nothing needed all right here. I haven't seen this many plants here before. Oh, thank you, Deke. Ooh, those are to a minute. Alright, anyway. That's not the quest I want to start with. So, let's go in our quest menu. And go to the quest that we need. Alright, fire and vice. What's this? I don't want to do that. Alright, fire and vice. So, Poppy is waiting in the area to the far north of Hogwarts as the broom flies. Alright. Alright. Let's see, to get Flipendo, we also need to... Oh, we'll be able to get that wall we fight. And those are Knapsack, and we'll do those later. Alright, so... Meet Poppy Sweeting, and then we'll go from there. Alright, she wants to go far north. Oh, look at that running. How far north? All the way up there. All right, we can do that. Oh, there's a whole bunch of... Wow. Look at all these things that I can do. But we have to get far north. Hit a pond ford. Let's travel to that. Hit a pond ford. Oh, the British... Sco or oh, the Scottish Highlands, not the British. Screw the British. They're crap. If it's not Scottish, it's crap. What are you up to now? And we're in Scotland. Scotland is a wonderful place where they make Scottish whiskey. Mmm, scotch is so good. Can't drink much of it, but... It's like a place right out of a storybook. Well, we are kind of in a storybook. Alright, let's see. Alright. Oh, ouch. Alright, that was... Yes. What I did offline is I went and I uh, redid a whole bunch of my spell slots. So they're much easier, so I have a whole combat spell slot. And it seems to work much better. And then a useful spell slot. Alright. That was good. Let's go see if we can get that Budong Tongue. We need those in a bunch of other spells. All right. I know there's spiders right here. Very easy to get rid of. A victory that came none too soon. Oh, 
All right, I think my new Yep, my new set of how to actually Um, my new setup for spells is a lot better now. Which is a great thing. Much better for combat. I just cycle right through all three rows. So first row, I have, I can make myself invisible. Then I have my Levioso and the Accio and the Fire one. It's the last, I forget what it's called. Then my second row, I have Crucio. Then with Expelliarmus and the Exploding one, the Bomb, and then the last, uh, Defendo, I think that's Defendo, where I slice things. Okay, I can't climb up there, so. Here we go. Alright. Oh. Ooh, what? That's cool. Wait till Sebastian hears about this. An Ashwinder. All right, where is Meet Poppy? Ooh, that was a whole bunch of items. Revelio. Oh, we're still far away. Ooh. I thought she was right here. Okay, we'll continue walking. Suppose it's worth it. Again, down. All right. I think I need to set. Let's see if one's setting. One second. Let's go into settings. Troll. Oh. Camera re relative targeting. All right. This. With the, on the camera. Ooh, grants off screen to enemy targeting. Yeah, I'm sorry. I need that. Um, everyone, this camera rel I, I read about this someplace. The camera relative targeting. If you want to shoot targets off screen, as in if you roll behind someone and you don't have to redo your targeting, 
turn this feature off. That will allow you to target behind you off the, so you don't have to see it. And that should make your life easier. I think it's going to make my life easier. I'm used to th seeing things off screen and attacking them in other games. So I want that to be an option here. All right, let's wait for Poppy. Start the fire and vice quest. All right. High wings fine. I'm keeping an eye on her. She's safe, Poppy, I promise. Good. Whatever the poachers are up to, I want High Wing far from it. You said you had news about the poachers and that some of it had to do with me. Ooh. It did. I overheard them talking in the hog's head and did you know that they had what was she doing Victor in the hog's head to capture you on sight? Does this have anything to do with Rookwood and Harlow coming for you in the three broomsticks after the troll attack? It does somewhat. But at the moment, I'm more concerned about what else you heard the poachers are up to. Fair enough. But I hope you'll let me know if I can be of help, especially after what you did for Highwing. Does the name Horntail Hall mean anything to you? I'm afraid not. Why? What is it? The poachers best kept secret, apparently. The name came up twice, but they never went into detail. I also overheard one of them bragging about all the gold they're making, at the expense of innocent creatures, undoubtedly. The poachers spoke of this area, and I thought if we searched around a bit, it might give us clues as to what they're doing. If you ever meet my gran, this trip never happened. Uh-huh. All right, that begs a huge question. If the hog's head is in the sea end of town, and Poppy here seems to be um not that into getting in trouble, why was she in the seedy part of town? Really? Hmm. She might be a naughty girl. Whose wand is she? Mm-hmm. Do I need to continue? All right. <sighs> Unfortunately, your secret's safe with me, Poppy. I won't tell on you. Not to worry, Poppy. If I ever meet your gran, I shall not speak a word of this. I normally tell her everything. She might be my best friend after Highwing, but she knows how I feel about the poachers. I think she worries I'll do something ill-advised. Whatever gave her that idea? Yeah, you went to the hog's this head. Way. You hang out with an ancient magic user. And are you also hanging out with Natty? Um, she's kind of a bad influence. Really? Ugh. All right, I'll follow you, Poppy. Crazy, animal-loving individual. A centaur. Tread carefully. Oh, all right. Can I crucio them? An entire castle to roam, yet you choose to wander here. Shut up, or I'll crucio you. Trouble. We're simply passing through. Do you take us for fools, that we do not notice more and more of your kind around here, in league with the poachers? We aren't involved with them. If anything, we want to see them stopped. I hope for your sake that is true. Our kind is swiftly losing patience with the poachers and those they work with. Okay. Can I ride on you, Centaur? Really? Revelio. He was certainly a charmer. That could have gone worse. Centaurs aren't exactly fans of wizard kind, and the poachers aren't helping matters. But why would he think that we had anything to do with poachers? I did notice the poachers talking with a few villagers in Hogsmeade. I'm not sure why. Perhaps that's why the centaurs are suspicious. Hmm. Yeah. Why would the centaurs be um, looking at a bunch of kids and saying, uh, are you poachers? I don't know. You're wearing the Hogwarts clothes. Hmm, maybe you might be poachers. Really? Are those centaurs kind of like dumb in the head? Don't they look at the stars a whole bunch and know what's coming? Really? Ugh. I'm sorry. The de devs just dropped the ball on this one. They are, they definitely missed that one little element. Ooh. That 
Oh. time I've seen a dug bug behave that violently. Hmm. It seems that a lot of beasts have been more aggressive than usual lately. I've noticed that too. It's almost like there's something in the water. I wanted to kill that dug bug because I needed more of their tongues. Come on. Revenia. Oh, don't see any more dog balls. All right, looks like a poacher's camp. This is odd. What is it? Not entirely sure, but look around. If the poachers were here, perhaps we can find out why. Investigate. Why they take their cages with them when they left? Hmm. Maybe they were eaten. Do we see tracks of a Tyrannosaurus Rex? Hopefully. Uh, or a drag. Well, a dragon is closest to a T Rex, but I don't know. Does a can a dragon kill a T Rex? I'm not sure. I hope so. Hope so. Still smoking. They can't have been gone long. Who would win in a fight, a T Rex or a dragon? Poor beasts. T-Rex or a dragon? Hmm. Hmm. that do? Ting, ting, ting. Ting, 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 ting. This is goblin metal. Seems out of place in a poacher camp. I should hmm. tell Poppy about it. Oh, let's drink some. Ugh, that's disgusting. Revelio. Anything interesting? Nope. Poachers were here. All sorts of evidence. But I found something else. It's goblin maid. I found goblin armor. Let's keep searching, but carefully. Merlin only knows what's going on here. Well, I don't have a good feeling really? about this. Really? Merlin knows? Isn't he dead? Can't we go talk to his uh, picture in the castle? How and poacher interests align. Look, All right, come on, there. Poppy. Definitely poachers. No creatures, though. So what are they doing out here? Let's take a closer look. They won't be happy to see us. Should Ooh. we use disillusionment? Yes. Or perhaps a less discreet approach. Hard to say from up here. Let's get a better lay of the land. We're gonna do... Is I'm gonna use a whole bunch of those Chinese chomping cabbages and the venomous tentacula. Okay. So. Uh, first. something and to Chinese chomping Anyone looking for trouble Span. Come, I'm sure it'll be harder to kill a moon. and last mandrake a little pruning is it all Oh, 
minister for magic himself. What is going on here? Only one way to find out. All right, let's let's go see. Let's collect all this stuff from the that fight. Revenia. Did I get that? All right. All right. Did I get that? Use everything all at once. Part of the quest. Yes, I did. So I'll be able to get Flipendo. So we'll do that after the quest. After I finish the fire, nice. And I'll be able to do some more of the Merlin Trials. Alright, let's go see. Rebellion. Yeah, that was actually fun using the... Should have used more of the Tetacula um, sooner and just let them get takedown quicker. But, that was a f nice little fight. Wow, there's a lot of stage cat carriages here. What's with the wizarding world in state? Well, it is 1890 right now, so stage carriages isn't the whole thing. They don't have cars. All these tents are like um, bigger on the inside. Are those dragons? What? Can we get a dragon? I want a dragon. Can I put that in the knapsack? I really want one of those and suck it into the knapsack. Really. It's a dragon fighting ring. This is Horntel Hall. The name makes sense now. And the secrecy. No wonder the poachers were in Hogsmeade so much. Likely taking bets and spreading the word, given how crowded it is here. How could they possibly enjoy this? The centaurs have every right to be disgusted with wizard cotton. There must be more uh -huh. dragons. The poachers really? are too greedy to run a fighting ring with only two dragons. We should take advantage of most guys being in the fight and look around. But uh -huh. be discreet. You especially can't afford to be spotted. I know. I can probe. Don't know what Victor was thinking, striking a bargain with him. Yeah, prefer sneaking up on people. Sneaky, sneak, sneaky, like. What's his solid snake? It's that dragon meat, or is that other type of meat for the dragons? Whatever it is, it's pretty big. These guys go down. They see, they don't see their friends. That's bad uh, AI. Avelia. If you see your friend go down, you wouldn't you be like, er, yeah, can't we just like, what just happened? Oh, 
All right, where are we going? All right, we're going over here. So I swear, those uh, these walls would not be able to hold those dragons. Let's watch it for a second. Come on. Are they just pacing around each other? Snarling, snarling, growl, snarl. Is that the big black one that actually ate, tried to eat my carriage? I think it is. I think that is the big black one that tried to eat me in the carriage. Oh, I want to crucio it. I want to crucio it so bad right now. Oh. When in doubt, crucio that little thing. I so want to crucio that. Yeah. All right. We're searching. What is this? Oh, that's a poor hippogriff. Oh, no beast target. You can't save the hippogriff. Oh. All right, we'll go more. Poppy, what are you doing? You're supposed to be. must be working together. Poppy, something's going on behind you. What's going on down there? Or is that the one that ate, tried to eat me? She's putting up quite the fight. Not a fair one there. What with her chain up like that? Let's even her up, shall we? Okay, now that's reckless, Poppy. What I wouldn't give. Vale. Now you're acting more like Natty. Likely have for it. Oh, yeah. All right. All right, we'll get we'll get a whole bunch of those things. We'll get that dragon egg. We'll get everything out. Can we breed dragons? Oh, that would be so cool. Figured I can do this at. Ooh. Oh, wrong one. There we go. Let's unlock a lock, get the dragon egg, and then have the dragon unfortunately follow us since we have the dragon egg. Oh, that's gonna be. I'm gonna give you the poppy. Let she let her get eaten. All right, I have the egg. Ready. The element of surprise will only buy us a few seconds. Let's make them count. Revelia. All right. Where are we going? This direction. I think we're going this direction. All right.
Okay. Uh This is quite a fight. Ouch. Alright, did I get them all? Yes, I finally got a good setup. It could be a little more refined, because maybe I need to be removed Wingardia Leviosa to a different place, but I did a pretty good setup for my combat. Alright, that's ooh, what I need to do. Ooh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Poppy, you're not like Hagrid. Yeah, those things are dead. Ooh! Nice! That's a... That definitely is a um, Jurassic Park moment. Except he wasn't on a toilet. Whoa! Okay, Poppy, we better run. Okay, that was lucky. That was insanely lucky. This way. That was definitely more crazy than um, what Natty did. Releasing a dragon, way more crazy. And we still have the dragon egg? Oh. That was a head body in black. I'm guessing the egg we have belongs to that dragon. I don't think she knew they had her egg. She wouldn't have left without it. Yeah. Now, oh she god. Didn't exactly leave us a calling card. I I don't know. Nothing about this day was expected. Not the goblin. Wait a egg, second. Definitely not the fighting ring. The last thing I planned on was a dragon egg. And the poachers saw us, which cannot be good. Wait a second. In the map, there's a big dragon that's flying over. And it looks like similar to that dragon so hmm i wonder i guess we're gonna have to find a place to put that egg and i think we kind of know where it's going all right we'll do ask some questions do you think the poachers will retaliate oh yeah oh Should they're poachers trouble from the poachers given the trouble we just caused it'd be foolish not to expect it they're not a forgiving lot I'm sorry to say that you likely have a larger target on your back now because of what we just did. Oh, hooray. Another group coming after me? Hmm. What's going to happen next? All right. What should we do with the egg? Since oh, my. Since the freed flew off, does that mean we get to keep the egg? 
I'd much rather we have it than the poachers, at least for now. But I don't think we should keep it indefinitely. It'll yeah. be hard hiding something like this from Professor Weasley for long. Oh yeah, she would... Yeah, we would get chewed out so badly. Professor Weasley is scary. We are really scary. Standing here. My Let's get God. To safety. We can sort this out later. You're right. If there's anything the poachers are good at, it's tracking their prey. And right now, we're it. Be okay. careful, will you? I shall see you back at the castle. And I'll warm my hands for a minute. You... Hey, I'm fire resistant. All right, now we're heading back to the castle. All right, what quests we need to do next? Oh, there's no real quest, so I guess we will. Oh, that was, I guess, the fire and ice. That was pretty good. Um, I probably wouldn't have done as well if I didn't have the spell Crucio. So, but well, let's return to Professor Garlic and get the spell Flippendo. All right, let's go. Professor Weasley. Oh, we just got a new thing. Professor Weasley's assignment. It's time you learned the transformation spell. After you've completed the required tasks, which I'm certain will prove useful in finishing your field guide, attend my class to learn the new spell. Afterwards, we will discuss your progress thus far in the term. Okay. So hopefully she won't notice that we're talking that I smell of dragon. Because once she knows I smell of dragon, then things won't go as well. All right, where am I? Where am I right now? Oh, yeah, I'm all the way up here. I think I'm going to fly. Because it's good to fly. How do I do that? <laughs> all right. The nice snowy land. Wow, look at that. That's beautiful. Hmm, it's a little chilly flying like this, and there's Hogwarts straight ahead. Wow. In fact, what we're gonna do is something. That's a pretty picture. All right, we'll drop down here. All right, we'll stand here. Yeah, look at that. That is a good photo. All right. this side now we're gonna do it this side and we are going to take a picture that's a pretty sight
Yeah. Buttons won't do properly. I set it up properly. This button. Other button. There we go. That's better. That's much better. That will make a nice desktop back background. I'm getting some good desktop backgrounds just by playing, which I, I'm kind of enjoying. I really am enjoying. Normally I don't take like backgrounds like that, but that's just too picturesque. All right, let's redo the quest. All right, and then now we'll actually go full fast travel now. That is fast travel to the greenhouse. Ooh, there's another. Ooh, might actually have to do that one too while I'm here. Do Samantha Dale. Whatever her quest is, we'll have to see. But we will get Flipendo first. Any resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Oh, we'll do that one next. But uh, where is... Oh, right, well, that means we gotta go... Can't get in there. Oh yeah, we can finally get in here. This door was locked first. This door is still locked? Hmm. That's a big lock. Hey, Bouncing Professor up. Garlic. Bouncing tentacular. I finished the activities you assigned me, Professor Garlic. Wonderful. I hope you gained a greater appreciation for the flora in our lives. I am so. What about the fauna? Huh? 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 Just yesterday. Just the I flora. I was pruning my self-fertilizing shrubs and flutterby bushes. Didn't realize how long Wait, I'd been. Did she just say pruning herself? Well, oh, she's pruning something else. Oh, okay. Ooh, uh, for a second, I was like, okay. It's doing the same. Now, ready to learn flipendo? Yes. Keep a light grip, and it's all in the wrist. Let's see you give it a go. Oh God! Everything she said, pruning, it's all in the wrist. Oh yeah. Is knocking back a colleague when all you wanted to do was move a few pots. Okay, Professor Garlic. It looks like that was I should have got that one a lot sooner. <laughs> Wonderfully done. If you'd like to practice a bit more, you're welcome to do so here in the greenhouse. Just mind the plants, please. All right. Professor, I was wondering where you're from. What's your background? Oh, how nice of you to ask. Well, let's see. I grew up in London, right on the Thames. Sounds Oh, yeah, yeah, I expected Forgive a farm. Me. I was sure you must have been raised in the countryside. I used to dream of just that. But it wasn't until I came to Hogwarts that I felt truly at home. Mind you, it did take some time. And whilst it is my fervent hope that each student eventually feels as at home here as I do, it is not always the case. I suppose that makes sense. Well, we each bloom differently, don't we? Some of us, like Devil's Snare, thrive in the shadows, whilst others crave the attention of a bouncing bulb. And we each grow and thrive according to our own plan. Oh, I was terribly nervous when I arrived at the castle. You see, as a child, I knew nothing of witches or wizards. Uh -huh. You can imagine how astonished I was to receive my letter from Hogwarts. I spent a good deal of time alone in either the greenhouse or the library, my first days here. Wait, what? That doesn't make any sense. All right. In 1890, well, actually, it would be more like 1880, uh, she grew up in London, right by the Thames. That's pretty disgusting place. 
Um, and then all of a sudden she's spending time in greenhouses and the library? Really? That doesn't make any sense. Unless she comes from some upper class family and that she was already used to libraries. Wait, did they even have libraries in 1890? They might have. But like not big libraries, what really happened today. Library London 1890. Let's see what they had. Uh, I guess they have a Library of Britain in Great Britain. Newspapers. They didn't really have House of Commons Library in 1890. They had them. Wow, that, that picture actually pretty cool. Oh, oh um, yes. Yeah, a little extra thing so they did have those oh that was during the age of exploring now my brain's finally clicking it all together yes we're all the explorers and we get like the phineas fog and uh, that around the world in 80 days that's around this time that they could do anything okay now it's making more sense okay Well, we, we don't, she didn't say anything about people being mean, but it does take some getting used to living in Scotland. It does take a while to adjust to being here. Precisely. And I was remarkably fortunate. In fact, a seventh year took me under her wing during those first days. She remains one of my dearest friends. How fortunate I was indeed. I dare say you'll find that the friends you make here at Hogwarts will last a lifetime. I best get to my recent delivery from the Magic Neep. Mr. Teasdale promised me quite an assortment of seeds this week. Lovely to see you. I like Professor Garlic. She's my favorite professor so far. Really? Seriously, she's like my favorite professor. All right, let's say Flippendo. Hmm, let's test it out using... No, put it there. Force spell. I guess I could use it in uh, web as a weapon. Aha! Uh -huh. I wonder. So we can Accio, we fire it, and we can Defendo, Sendo, and Flipendo. Okay. Alright, well, let's look at Poppy's quest. Dragon's Debrief. Ooh. Let's see what uh, Samantha wants. And then we'll go to the Dragon Debrief. Oh, you! Just the person I need. Okay, Samantha. How you doing? How you Samantha, doing? It's not. It's my brother William. The one I told you about after charms class. He's... he's been cursed. He ignored my warning and now he's lying in St. Mungo's looking completely pathetic. He simply never listens. I'm sorry. How exactly has he been cursed? Oh, you won't believe it. Truly. But his feet were turned into purple beets. You can imagine his distress. And mine. I won't even go into the attention he was getting from our garden rabbits before he admitted himself to hospital. Wait, what? Wait, 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 what, what? Something? He was getting... Oh, he... Okay. The garden rabbits were trying to eat his feet. <laughs> that sounds like a guy. Yeah, definitely. Oh, that's not bad. Definitely not bad. I'll deal with it. 
Yeah, I'm sorry. That is actually kind of funny. I'm I'm gonna have to laugh. Beats the feet. <laughs> how hilarious! <laughs> I mean, <laughs> how terrible! It's horrible. <laughs> it is. <laughs> you and the entire school may find it funny, but the situation is dire. Yes, well, it, is, it is. But it's funny. Situation. How did your brother end up like this? It's entirely his own fault. <laughs> I told and it's him even about worse. Research I'd done recently on our ancestor Marmaduke Dale. In particular, my discovery that Marmaduke's tomb was cursed. My brother's always making fun of my discoveries. This time, he laughed in my face, told me I'd misinterpreted my findings. Maybe. That's quite possible. And to prove his point, he went right up to the entrance of the tomb, and poof, his feet transfigured into beets. <laughs> He kind of deserved it. And he needs help. Ooh. Can't I click both? I want to click both. Um. This clearly needs How help is a little bit better. I can see why you're upset. He definitely needs some help. Exactly. He may be a cape flapper, but he's still my brother. It's a cape and flapper. no one deserves such a fate to last forever. Especially as the result of a single brainless mistake. Now I worry that if the curse isn't reversed, it could become permanent. Can't the curse be broken? Possibly. The curse stems from a crest that was stolen from Marmaduke. If the crest were returned to its rightful place upon his sarcophagus, then I believe that William's feet may be restored. You uh -huh. battled when they attacked Hogsmeade, escaped a dragon, and I could tell by your work and charms that you're a skilled spellcaster. Turning a crest to a sarcophagus should be almost effortless for you. So, will you help us? What happens if my feet... Yeah, you see? If I help, will my feet become beats? Yeah, oh, that's yes. what I want to know. I don't want my feet to turn into beats as well. Oh, but the curse only applies to Marmaduke's descendants, as my brother so aptly demonstrated. That's why I need your help. You're uh -huh. unrelated to my family, so the curse wouldn't affect you. How do you know that? That's okay. Why are Mama Duke famous? Okay, we'll, we'll so bite. Well he discovered the properties of several magical herbs and plants. He also uncovered numerous types of flora. The wizarding world owes him a great debt. His work not only impacted the discipline of herbology, uh -huh. but also potion making. All right, what is the difference between flora and fauna? Now I have to find that out because Darlik said fauna. Wait, flora? No. She's, which I forget which one she did. Flora, fauna. What is the difference? What is the difference between flora? Flora versus fauna. Okay. Floor is defined as naturally occurring native plants. And okay. Fauna is animal life. Hey, okay. Flora is plants. Fauna is animal. Hey, I learned something and you hopefully you learned something. Okay, cool. Let's continue. Where did this curse come from? Why was Mama Duke's tomb cursed? The curse is the result of an intense sibling rivalry between Granum Dale and his younger brother Marmaduke. Marmaduke was a famed herbologist, and Granum resented the attention that he received. Sibling rivalry? Sounds as if it might run in the family. But I would never intentionally curse my brother. Not like Granum did. When their uh -huh. mother died, Marmaduke was given the prized family crest. Granum felt that as the eldest child, he should have been given it. Years later, when Marmaduke died, Granum stole it and cursed the tomb so that none in the Dale family could ever pay their respects. Uh huh. Yep. Family can be quite difficult. You know, I'm Cat, and well, I have a brother named that I like to call uh, Mohawk Cat. He ha he does some really crazy things. Yeah. Yeah, you. Well, one day you might meet him. Anyway, let's continue. Of course, of course, I'll help. I'll help your family. Sarcophagus for you. Oh, thank you, thank you so much. 
You'll simply go into the tomb where Marmaduke was laid to rest and place the crest on top of his sarcophagus. According to my research, the tomb's been abandoned for centuries, so it should be a fairly simple task. You'll find it just east of the hamlet of Brockborough. Uh-huh. Thank that you means my there's is indebted to you. probably Inferni in there. Okay, Samantha, we'll check it out. But we're first gonna do the end of the dragon quest. See the dragon debrief. Oh, did I already do that? Hmm, or oh, I'll have to see about that. Hmm, interesting. But anyway, the dragon that that the a dragon debrief. If only I could actually speak, it might actually help. Oh, we're going to a bunch of stuff. Oh, let's go to South Hogsmeade. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Yes, they do. They lead. They lead wherever they need to lead. Oh, why am I going? Him. This guy. Charm grinder. No, I'm not going to do that right now. I have to stay on the debrief. The clip. Even though it is fun to watch these things clip themselves. That's a lot of work, actually, shearing with those. Shearing bushes with those uh, clippers. Alright, come on, Poppy. I know I have to talk with Serona, too. This is a change of pace from our last outing. Don't remind me. The thought of that tent still makes my blood boil. I've been thinking about those poor dragons in the fighting room. The collars they were wearing, they appeared to be goblin silver. I think a collar is precisely what we found at that poacher camp. I've never known poachers to use anything like that before. The dragon that attacked my carriage was wearing a collar. And Professor Fig was genuinely baffled by its behavior. That attack always did strike me as a little strange, seemingly coming out of nowhere. Surely you aren't suggesting that the collars somehow control the poor creatures? Exactly. Merlin, I don't think the dragon we set free was wearing a collar, but we should check. And if we can find her, we can return her egg. Oh, Poppy. Come on, Poppy. Really? You want to send me and you to become dragon food? Oh. She's a different type of reckless. Completely. Uh, we'll check on her. Against my better judgment, we're gonna check on the That's dragon. We need to see this through. I'll start looking into it right away. There was something else that I wanted to discuss with you. I didn't want to press it before. It seems I may have caused you more trouble with Victor Rookwood. Oh, hooray! Oh, thank you, Poppy. Rookwood is working with Ranrock, and Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Vic had a port key that led us there after the dragon attack. It's a bit of a long story, and Fig had asked that I not speak of it yet. Goodness. Well, that certainly helps to shed light on what we saw at the tent. Don't worry, I'll guard your secret as if it were my own. I shan't press for more details. In fact, I should probably be going. I'd like to track that dragon down as soon as I can. I'll let you know when I have news of her location. Okay. I hate to see a creature get put down like that. But trolls had no business in Hogsmeade. Alright, now that we're out of that. Out of... 
Let's see what quests we can do next. No, look at all these mini quests popping up. All right, let's actually do the Enter the Dale Family Tomb. Because, well, might as well. We saw what Samantha wanted, and let's actually do what Samantha wanted. Oh, I wonder where it's what we're going to actually get, um, well, will, will anything kill us? Probably. Or attempt to kill us. But we probably should go f to the room of requirement first. And deal with a bunch of this. And unlock things. And see which armor we have. Alright, here we go. And maybe restock up on some stuff. What do we need to stock up on? Ooh, Chinese chomping cabbage. Do I have the seeds for Chinese chomping cabbage? Let's go look. Take things. You should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Oh, I don't have those yet. I probably should go pick those up off one of these times, and that goes into a large it medium pot. Okay. Far from here. Deke has marked the area on your map. Alright. Yeah, we'll just put that one in the temporarily. All right, so, and identify stuff. All right, everything's identified. Let's see what we can upgrade to. Hmm. Yeah, we'll upgrade. Oh, that's definitely a downgrade. Don't want to do that. Again, a downgrade. All right, we currently like 66. Ooh, look at all these downgrades. Look at those are all crap. Even though that's a nice looking scarf. <laughs> Oof. That's the best scarf I have? Oof. Alright. Also bad. Alright, 65, 44. Ooh. That's an upgrade. Definitely want to go that go to that one for a. All right, now. No, oh, those boots aren't that bad with that one. But we want to change our look back again. Like I say, this is the most annoying part that it doesn't keep your look. You actually change something. I like the top of the class scarf. The Ravenclaw insignia. 
even though that one's not that bad. Nor is that one. But I prefer the Ravenclaw Insignia. Alright, let's go with the... Those boots are so much better. I really like those. Yeah. Alright. Anyone who wand handles? No. That one's not as good. I like this. Teal blue. Alright, there we go. Alright, what else do we have? Ooh, dragon egg. Ooh, crest of Marmaduke. That's what we have to get rid of, so our feet don't get turned to beets. And we don't want our feet turning to beets. Hmm. Alright, this one actually can be helpful. I'll slowly up upgrade ones that I see actually are worth something. Hmm. I'm not sure on that one. We'll, we'll just have to look into some of these more. Really think it through. Yeah, we'll have to really think these through. Elections. Let's go see. Oh, we have only met 31 out of the 67 types of bad guys. It means there's a lot more to find out. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, so... We need to go... Find a quest. Which quest? Yes. Beating the curse. Alright, where on the map is it? All the way. Oh, wow. All the way over there. Yeah. Is there any good jump points for there? No. That means... Well, I even have that burrow wherever... Closest jump point is here. I call it jump points. Jeez. I'm thinking, um, what's that? Uh, Babylon 5 has the jump points. I'm thinking Babylon 5. Oh, wow. Which also is one of the best sci fi movies ever. All right, but first, we will go to Hogsmeade to sell a bunch of equipment. And then we will jump to the quick travel point to get closest. What are we going to do next? Alright. Yep. Row right to Pippin. Healing potions are a speciality here, should you need any. No, I'm pretty good. Now that I've said that, I'm probably gonna, like, um, accidentally kill myself or something. My character will just go, eh. All right, I'm gonna keep that. It was just in case. Get rid of everything that isn't a legendary or extraordinary. Ooh, I have 4,000. Nice. So, all right. Um, Thank you again for delivering those potions to Madame Lawing. Saved me a lot of time and trouble. Yes, it did. All right. We need to get some more of those. Dogwe and death. We need to go Dogwe and death cap anyway. To get ourselves, we'll stop by. We'll first stop by Gladwings, and then we'll go to Dogwing, <laughs> and then 
we'll go to finding out what where we are. Yeah, that mission. We'll get there. I don't remember. It is five. I have a five second memory. Maybe a six second memory. Come on in and have a look around. Oh, I went in through the back door. Cool. All right, Augustus Hill. Let's see what you have to sell. Take your time. Anything that I can get upgrade to? Ooh, only five hundred? Really? Ooh. Ooh. All right, let's see. 74 and 65. Uh, it's not worth it. Oh, that's definitely not worth it. All right, so nothing's worth it, right? Oh. Maybe that it might be worth it. No, it's not. It's not worth it. All right. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. All right. That wasn't worth it. All right. We'll do temporarily go. All right, and we need to buy those chomping cabbages. I need chomping cabbages. That's the one last seed thing that I do not own. Hogsmeade, here I come. Pardon me. Ooh. Might I ask a favor of you? Not right now. I have a cave to go deal with. Just a minute. And a tomb to go deal with. Oh, only six hundred? Yeah, I'll buy it. Oh, I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you'll go far. Alright. Doors always open. You be sure to stop by soon. Alright. Pardon me? And sometime later. That guy with the green bowler hat gets around. Oh, no. Don't want to go that way. Alright, where is that rum? No. This way, I think, is the broomstick guy. Because now, now I have enough to be able to buy a new broomstick. Oh, there we are. Aha. Uh -huh. You're back. Nice to see you again. Hey, Albie. How's it going? What are we looking for today? All right. That item is of the highest quality. Since I'm going on quite a trip, I'll see about purchasing that. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. All right, yes, I will be, Albie. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. All right, we go to gear. Let's see about different broom. Let's go. That's the one. No, that's not the one. Not the. There we are. We're gonna. Use that broom. That broom is cool. For long journeys. And we gotta get a hog's mead. Can't imagine how muddy it is. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to hog's mead. Wee.
All right, onward. All right, we're gonna get there. Ooh. Up we go. See what's really good about this one, this broom is you can tell, you know, if you're going up and down with these, because the nice lantern stays nice and level with the ground. Ah, oh, gravity. It's a wonderful thing. Uh, let's go a little bit higher and see where we're going. Oh, there's a Merlin trial. Enter the Dale family tomb. Looks rather dark in there. Never stopped me before. Are those little what the what are those thingies? Oh puff skeins. Oh the cute little puff skeins. To me they look more like tribbles. And I'm like, don't feed those things grain. Alright. The move that you're seeing me doing there is the the dodging move that you can upgrade to. Alright, enter the Dale family tomb. Oh, so there's definitely going to be spiders in here. Creepy, creepy spiders. Oh, my feet didn't turn into beets. That's a good start. <laughs> hey! Even though beets are tasty. Rebellion. Oh, a fedora. Fedoras are interesting looking, uh, hats. Uh oh. A troll. You can't be serious. Boom, boom, boom. 
Ooh, ouch. Finally, he got me. Nice. Ooh. Oh, that was interesting. Going down that nice little um, area. Oh, can I go back up? Nope. Fun. Now we gotta find another way out of here. That troll was relatively easy. Or it seemed easy. A sarcophagus. This must be Marmaduke. Rebellion. That should reverse the curse. Didn't he? All right, how do I get out of here? found where I need to go oh I could you mean I could have come down that instead of falling through oh I did it the dumb way Rebellion. that's a dumb dumb who's a dumb dumb that's a dumb dumb We keep seeing these circles. Alright, this is going back up. Yeah, this is the thing I jumped over and I could have gone down nicely. Yeah... That was, this is the nice path. But I dumbly went down the dumb path. Revelio. Ooh, magical paintings? Cool. You can collect magical paintings around this world? Nice. All right, I guess I've got everything in here. Well, 
Well, got everything there. Okay, how do I get out of here? <laughs> oh no. Did I just get myself lost? Probably. Yeah, I'm very good at getting myself lost. Santa will be glad to hear that the crest has been returned. I certainly hope it reverses the curse. I actually want to see his feet beats, so I kind of don't want it reversed just yet. <sighs> but you can't have everything you want. It's how the world works. Have I done this? No. Might as well while I'm here. I know a man in trial when I see one. And we're jo we're jumping on those. Get the whole clumple juice. Ah, there's a whole bunch of it here. Might as well click pick it up. Alright, now we jump from Ooh. Now we jump. Aha. And that should be it. Another Merlin trial. All right, we're going to just make sure we go past that first. So that way we come to this area easier next time. Ooh, what is here? Might as well explore a little. Pumpkins! Mmm, pumpkin pie is so delicious. I want some pumpkin pie now. Alright, cat, stop thinking about food, otherwise you are going to become 500 pounds. Ooh, Alexandria Ricketts. Nice outfit. Alright, but first we need to return to Samantha. Because we, I want to see what happens. Does her the feet be not beat? Or become beats? Continue to be beats or not beat? Otherwise, yeah. The rabbits of her in her gar her brother's garden is going to be um you know, they're gonna have a nice tasty out there. Mm -hmm. Alright, Samantha. What happened to your brother? I'm happy to tell you that I returned the crest to Marmaduke's sarcophagus, just as you asked. I thought as much. I received word from St. Mungo's that my brother's feet are back to normal. No more beats. Oh, I cannot thank you enough. It wasn't too much trouble, I hope. I... Uh... Well, there was a troll in the tomb. A troll? Oh dear, I'm so Yeah, sorry thank you, Samantha. No one has been in that tomb for centuries. But I can't say I'm surprised. Marmaduke seems to have been full of surprises. Indeed he was. Well, I suppose I should be going. I'm anxious to see my brother, who must be elated to have his feet back. Uh-huh. Yes, I certainly would be. William and I are forever in your debt. Oh, thank really? 
You're forever in our debt. Oh, that could be so good in the long time. Oh, what? What is that? Aha! Uh -huh. Field guide page. Three greenhouse tree guide pages. Situated at the center of Hogwarts greenhouse, this giant tree has a system of roots as deep-reaching and as convoluted as the school's dungeons. Oh, I doubt that. With all the dark wizards coming around and putting all this stuff in the school, I doubt this tree has roots as big as that. Doubtful. Alright, what am I doing next? What am I doing next? Hmm... There's a lot of... Ooh. No, I'm not, I don't want to go get more demigeysers right now, even though I do need to. Hmm. Rescue Biscuit? Hmm. Hmm. Underground Harbor. Should I do this one? Miss Weasley's assignment? Yeah, we'll go grab it. Yeah, we'll go grab it. Collect the field guide from the Underground Harbor. Wherever that is. All right, let's go. Upward. Where is this? I have I don't think I've been there before. Beers. Did that suit of armor just punch forward? Yes, he did. Okay. I guess we're going all the way down to the harbor. All right, let's see if we can fly. Okay, I'll... Mm. All right, let's follow. Okay. Underground Harbor. Is that what that is? I don't know. That might be something else. Ah. Can't enter while mounted. Uh-oh. Oh, into the water. Oh, it's nice freezing cold. Nice. Hooray. Oh, can you get here other than swimming? Maybe. Oh, this is where they bring in the first years. Oh, that's cool. Rebellion. Yeah, these are the ships we we see on when they. During the first years. Oh. oh, you can't... You can't jump in them? Ah. Oh. And here's the field guide. Underground Harbor. Deep within the viaduct courtyard is the landing of boats delivering the first year students across the Black Lake to Hogwarts. Yeah, the first years have to go across the Black Lake. And then they're delivered into this weird dungeon harbor thing underneath the castle. That's scary as hell. Really? Why not just walk them in through the front door? It's less scary, more welcoming. The more I look at this school, this school is scary. 
No wonder the kids are go missing every once in a while. So this is the underground harbor. And that's cool. Oh, it skips a, a different time. A different way. Oh, cool. When you skip walks, it changes. Via the courtyard. Oh. See where this lands or goes up and down. Oh, where does this come out? Oh, a nice little door right there. I didn't know that. That's very cool. I like it. All right, now let's go to collect the field guide page from the book on intermediate transfiguration in the library. All these words are a little hard to say. Whoa. Ooh. Don't blow your hands off, kids. Haha, <laughs> nice. Alright, to the library. Uh, it's at night, so we might have to sneeze. It's a relief to finally have an art to buy that picture of Effie. And the big library. This is a beautiful library. I would love to have a library like this. Just saw something up there. Oh, Akio. Nice. But did I get it? Perhaps yeah, no. The book Professor Weasley wants me to get is upstairs. All right. Yeah, this looks exactly like in the movies. Exactly. Maybe a little shorter, but still. That book Professor Weasley asked me to find should be around here somewhere. Oh, don't see it there. Hmm. Hello, Slytherin girl. Intermediate transfiguration. Revelio. Looks like I have to. Sephoria Franklin. Professor Weasley asked me to, uh, get something from that book. May I have it? Did she now? I'll give you this book if you humor me by answering a few questions from my quiz. Sure. Course, some people call bits of knowledge trivia. I would argue that no knowledge is trivial. Hence, I have created a small quiz, just for fun, focusing mainly on the lore of the Wizarding World. Uh -huh. None of the other students will try it, no matter how many times I ask. They all say they have enough with schoolwork. Ugh, they don't value knowledge the way I do. Surely you're interested. I'll even start you off with a few of my easiest questions. Wait, wasn't this girl the one with the, the gobstock stones? I remember her name somewhere, but I forget what her, she did. Oh, that could be fun. The quiz sounds like fun. Splendid. Trivia is great. Just a few questions, and then I'll hand over this book. Let us begin. Before the invention of the golden snitch, which magical creature was used in the game of Quidditch? Hmm. I don't know. It makes me want to go back and read the Quidditch Through the Ages. Hmm. Uh-huh.
Huh. What's a snuggery? I don't know. The golden sniggit, the snake bird. Hmm. When in doubt, choose B or C. That's the normal thing that you do. Golden snidget. The, the golden snidget. Correct. Hey. It was first introduced to Quidditch in 1269 by a wizard named Barbarous Bragg. Sadly, they're thought to be extinct. Next question. Which potion is commonly referred to as liquid luck? Oh, that one I know of. Um, that's definitely Felix Felicius. But I don't know what the hell El Hotzi Draught is. I think we made one of those. Pepper up potion, definitely not. But Felix Felix Felicis. Felix Felicis. Well done. Since it makes the drinker temporarily lucky, Felix Felicis is a banned substance in all organized competitions. The tale of the three brothers involves mm. rich magical artifacts. Oh, that one's easy. Not the founder's relics. No, those are the diagon the diadon, the cup. Uh, crap, I've got my Harry Potter or It's definitely not the Horcruxes. It's absolutely the Deadly Hallows. The Deathly Hallows. Correct. According to Beedle the Bard, the Deathly Hallows consists of the Elder Wand, the Resurrection Stone, and the Cloak of Invisibility. Which I wonder where the Elden is Wand the is. Oh, the Quaffle. The quaffle. That's right. When a chaser throws the quaffle through one of three hoops in a Quidditch match, their team is awarded ten points. True or false? Polyjuice potion allows the drinker to change species. Oh, absolutely false with that one. That only allows you to change appearance as opposed to changing what you look like. Or the changing species. That's a, the changing species is a different uh, thing. You need to do some transfiguration for that. AKA McGonagall turning into the cat, which then I would, yeah, even if I knew McGonagall was a cat, I would still pet her. I'd get a hell of a lot of um, dimension, um, <laughs> demerits and everything. And yeah, I'd be like, but you're so cute as a cat. Oh no. False. Correct. While Polyjuice Potion can be used to change things such as age or race, it cannot be used to change species. Well, I suppose this has gone on long enough. I'll put the book back on the pedestal now. If you're inclined to test your knowledge again, I have plenty more questions I could ask you. Ooh. And I won't be giving you any more easy questions either. The next ones will be more difficult. Sure, I love the these questions. Ooh. Do I want to do more questions? I'd like more questions. I'd like to answer more questions. What governmental body directly preceded the Ministry of Magic? Ooh. All right, which one was, um, was this? Hmm, directly. Hmm. Do I know this one? Wasn't the Order of Merlin? The International Confederation of Wizards, International Confederation I think. Of Wizards. No, that's incorrect. The, Ooh. Order was the Wizards' Council. The Wizards' Council disbanded in 1707 after the creation of the International Statute of Wizarding Secrecy, which required a more structured government to support its enforcement. Oh, okay. The breed is the smallest. Ooh. I'm going to say the Peruvian Viper Tooth. The Peruvian Viper Tooth. Brilliant! Though the Viper Tooth is the smallest breed, averaging at around 15 feet in length, it is also the fastest breed and feared for its venomous. Mm -hmm. Who founded the village of Hogsmeade? Oh, who is that? Which one? I think um, it wasn't Heinga and Woodcroft. I think it was Quincy Hogg. Quincy Hogg? No. The answer was Henry oh. Woodcroft. It is believed that Hengis used the three broomsticks in as his home. The hive behind was accidentally created by crossbreeding a ghoul with what other magical creature? Ein Bi. 
hide behind was accidentally created by crossbreeding a ghoul with what other magical creature? Hide behind? That's brand new. That's not in the, the book for magical creatures. Hmm. I'm just gonna say demi guys. A demi guys. Yes. While the hide behind has the power of invisibility, those who have seen it have described it as a tall, thin monkey with silver hair. What is the only spell known to repel a lethargold? Hmm. I'm gonna say the knockbacks jinx. The knockback jinx. Actually, the answer was the Patronus charm. The only known survivor of a lethefold attack was a what is a lethefold? Belby, who was on holiday in Papua New Guinea at the time. Who published the law of elemental transfiguration? Lethefold. What is a lethefold? Living shroud. Carnivorous magical beast. Oh, it's like a wraith. Similar to a yeah, it was similar to a Dementor. Ah, uh, where is that from? Huh. I wonder where, uh, oh, that's from the Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. Yeah, it's been a while since I read that. Uh, all right. Who published the law of environment, elemental transfiguration? Hmm. That one, I have no idea. Absolutely no idea. I'm just going to go with B again. Evangeline Orpington. That's incorrect. The answer I was looking for was Gamp. One of the principal exceptions to Gamp's law is that food cannot be conjured, though it can be summoned. What does the Hogwarts motto translate to? Oh, um, never tickle a sleeping dragon. I do know that one. Never tickle a sleeping dragon. Correct. In Latin, the Hogwarts motto is Draco Dormian's Nunquam Titillandus. Which magical creature is the only one known to produce eggs through its mouth? Hmm. I'm going to say Ashwinder. The Ashwinder. That's incorrect. Ooh. The correct answer rune's poor. was the rune's poor. Ooh. According to Parcel Mouths, each of the rune's paw's three heads serves a different function. The left head is the planner, the middle is the dreamer, and the right is the critic. Where is Ilgamorny School of Witchcraft and Wizardry located? Oh, yes, that previous question with the three different heads is actually very closely related to uh, Freud and his the id, the ego, and the super ego. Mount Greylock. Which Mount Greylock are they talking about? It is. Just... All right. Uh, the Illermorny. The Pyrenees. I'll the say Pyrenees. the Pyrenees. <laughs> is actually located on Mount Greylock. The American school was founded in the really? 17th century by Esalt Sayre and James Stewart. What is the most powerful love potion known to wizard kind? Uh... This one, whatever that one is. Oh no. Oh no, I'm not very good at this. It smells differently to every person according to what they find attractive. Such as dusty book covers, or <clears throat> are you interested in continuing on to the next round? They're my most difficult questions. Oh no, I'm not ready, not right now. I Ooh. don't have time for another quiz at the moment. That was a lot of hard questions. Realizing I need to go read those books again, all of them. Wow. Oh no, I remember I did a thing and she had the flying books. That's that's what she was doing. Rebellion. Aha, field guide page. Book on intermediate transfiguration guide pages. This book is designed to help 
guide the student who wishes to pursue more complicated types of transfiguration. Professor Weasley often recommends it to her advanced students, as is a bit of light reading. Hmm, yeah, look how thick Professor that Weasley's thing is. Tasks are complete. I should attend transfiguration. Okay, are we going to go attend transfiguration? See what quests we we have available. Hmm, I think we are going to have to do that. Yes, yeah, so we are going to have to do that. All right, so I guess we're going to Transfiguration class. We'll find a way to get there somehow. <laughs> Too bad we can't just jump right off that. Zoom, 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 round, 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 round. Oh, oh, that made me a little dizzy. Just a little dizzy, oh my. It's a relief to finally have an answer as to why that portrait was empty. Okay, she creepily looked at me. Oh, out that door. <laughs> Transfiguration courtyard. Hmm. Oh yeah, the transfigure is in the corner over there. Over this direction. With the all the different plants that change different. Oh, sorry. Calico Cat must pet. Have I named this Calico Cat? No, this cat does not. Alright, I gotta... Calico. Hmm, what shall be your name, Calico Kitty? Hmm. Can't be Tiger, because you don't look like a tiger. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, it's laying down. And it's purring. Oh. Oh, uh, Pickle. The Calico Cat's name will be Pickle. Just because, well. Oh, he's purring and sleeping. Oh. Look at that. All right, let's pet him one more time. Pet Pickle. There you go, Pickle. You're good. We're petting you. All right. Yep. Go back to sleep. <laughs> All right, Transfiguration class. Now we're waiting. All right, let's go waiting. I hope no one slept on me or walked over me while I was in the sling on the ground. Is that how she keeps her books? The bird droppings must be horrible. As you may be weary of hearing me say, it is an exact science that can take a lifetime to master. But, but we need to be able to Almost anything can be transformed if you can just seize the potential within it. As I see in all of you, tremendous witches and wizards, every one of you, or it could just be my eyesight. I think it's your eyesight. Miss Weasley. You all know what to do. Okay, it's definitely your high eyesight. Oh, that almost looked like a piece of paper. I mean, pizza, pizza. That would have been tasty. So you can actually turn. Ooh. Can you turn one thing into another type of animal? 
and then cook it? Or does it taste like the original animal? Hmm. I wonder. That's, that was never really explained. You could actually t take a rat and turn it into a pig, and then you, then you, hmm. Do the, does the rat and pig taste similar? I'm not sure. You, you wanted to discuss my progress so far this term, Professor. I, I did. You, you seem to have had no trouble getting it up to speed. And, and frankly, extending your thoughts of your work this year. Ah, thank you, Professor. Simons have helped. They really have. Thank you, Professor. I it must admit. Been helpful. As, as I suspected they would be. And now it seems, seems you may make a good use of the opportunities presented by your field guide. Of course, the guide is the only, only measure of success. That's I one of them. That you were able to grow a venomous tentacular. Yes. Plant is an accomplishment which you can be quite proud. Thank, thank you, Professor. I will say I am especially impressed with all you've accomplished. In light of the rules of your extracurricular activity. Mm-hmm. Was your extended conversation with Mr. Oliver about asking you to take your wand? Or for a subsequent search in the gallery? Connected in any way but Professor Fink? Hmm. Yeah. Professor Fick has encouraged me to go for when I can in uh, an effort to complete my field guide. I see. I admire your penchant for learning, but do you remember that your classwork and your field guide are designed to educate you thoroughly? It will be the end of the year in no time, and you will want to be well prepared for your own viewing classes. I'll provide a final assessment at that time to ensure that you're ready for your exams. Sure. Well, well done. But you are dismissed. You don't dismiss me. I'll walk out on you. Mm-hmm. All right, can we? I'll temporarily put that there. Something dawned on me about the triptych. Immediately over them, just just north of the forbidden forest. And I'll explain. My plan is an elf and fail. I have another idea. I think we may be able to find what we need to goblin mine south of Hogwarts. Meet me, me there. And bring some someone who speaks goblin on the goop. Ooh. Oh, this creepy transfiguring plant. Whoa, what's Gareth doing here? Hey, Gareth. Hello, Gareth. So, has your aunt been making it a bit easier on me lately? Unfortunately, no. In fact, a few days ago, she gave me a detention. I was, I was only testing a new recipe in a most mostly empty classroom. <laughs> I was put out quick enough. You were being creative. Mm-hmm. Oh, agreed. If innovators like us are unappreciated in our time, can't let the doubters sway me. When they take to my light late through, they'll get, get, get their criticisms and the fires. It'll be bigger than Dr. Beer. Oh, oh. oh that's that's an idea. Idea. Better write it down. Best of you. you. He is definitely an entrepreneur. Yeah, Gareth, you're going to go far or end up six feet under. Oh, I still haven't gotten Nelly's stuff. Well, wow, that was quite a fun bunch of quests, I must say. Alright, but that is it for today. And that's it for today, and we'll see everyone around. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Follow and hit any notification bells along the way. When you want to talk to me live, follow me on Twitch. If you want to see previous streams, subscribe to the Cat Type M Gaming channel on YouTube.
All right, time to disapparate. Have a meowrific day.